As a trader, we all look for tight or low spreads, which helps us to get in and out of the market. Using the right broker can help us try different strategies. With multiple options of brokers on the web, here at Stock Sniper Trading, we have a recommended broker, that is, Hanko Trade. With spreads as low as 0 pips and leverage up to 500x, Hanko Trade is just one click away. With multiple account types to choose from, you also have a minimum deposit of $10. Using Hanko Trade's affiliate program, refer a friend and earn up to a 40% commission on trading volume. Built by traders for traders. Hanko Trade. Hey guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live session with Stock Sniper Trading. Hope everyone's having a really good morning so far. Current time is 7.40. All right, we're going to wait about 20 minutes to get everything ready to rip here. <clears throat> but until then, we're going to do our top downs, guys. But before we do anything like that, okay, make sure to check the description box. It's not a buy or sell channel here. We are here to provide free technical and fundamental analysis. Any trades taken to find yourself. Try not to risk 1%. We're not financial advisors, so anything can happen, especially during this time. Okay, so three things, guys. One of them is our recommended broker is Hanko Trade. Please check the link in the description box. Take a click. Okay, download the demo account. Fund it if you make sense. Or fund it if it makes sense based on where you're at and what your needs are. Okay, a recommended prop firm is my Forex Funds. Okay, Stock Number Trading will give you, all right, five percent off. And then you can see right now our liquidity platform recommendation is Bookmap, but that could change. Okay, um, also, guys. We have news coming up here. Okay, so let's go over this real quick so everyone can be on the same page here. Okay, we have core PPI and then PPI coming up at 8.30. So personally, all right, I'm not really going to be doing anything until we come to this news. All right, if we do see a really good setup coming beforehand, then maybe we will uh, look to take it. But until then, not looking to do too, too much. Okay, and then obviously we have 10 a.m. So we're going to stay for both these f uh, four folders. Okay, and see how news is going to be released and hopefully we can get something out of it. All right. So guys, with that being said, let's get ready to do a top down. Okay, we're going to start with gold and then I'm going to head over to NASDAQ. All right. In terms of the poll, would you guys rather do NASDAQ or GBPUSD? I don't really want to do more than three charts before news. So we can pick a couple and go from there. You guys let me know what you're feeling and we can rock and roll. All right. But I'm going to use 1809. Okay, as my key daily resistance. Okay, roughly 1808, 1809, daily resistance, which is the top long wick, okay? Okay, and then you can see I have some nice daily support here. Okay, so we're working in a range from 1788 to 1809. Okay, that's a pretty big range, all right, just FYI. Okay, so let's look at some daily support here. And then we're going to break it down based on the four hour, all right? So let's take a peek. Remember, guys, like I said, this is just bias based on my technical analysis. Any trades can be very different based on yours. So if you guys are getting confused here, you can also use a really good tool called Fibonacci's. All right. And you can just set them up if you understand how to do that based on your style of technical analysis. OK, so let's go here for our resistance. OK, and I'm going to add some four hour support just below here on gold. OK, for our support. And as you can see, guys, we're closing the gap between the higher time frame all the way to the lower. All right. You can see the gold's getting a little bit of rejection here. OK, still the cool off period. You can see it's still bullish. OK, but we have a nice little spin top candle here, which means gold right now is indecision leading into that new hourly change up. OK, so personally, I'm just going to mark some hourly support based on the hourly candle. OK, so one hour support. And then we're going to use some resistance just above. OK. Perfect. Guys, and don't forget to like the stream here. Let's get 100 likes right away. We can head up and do another chart. No issues that being said. Hey, okay, I have some one hour resistance. OK. Let's take a peek at the 15 now. All right. You can see the engulfing candlestick, guys. This right here, all right, on the 15 minute time frame, found nice support have a nice engulfing candlestick based off demand level here okay buyers took control okay this should be green 
generally around that daily. Okay, that's a push price of gold all the way to the upside with short term pullbacks here. Okay, but the overall trend is bullish. Okay, just FYI. So you can see that that four hour resistance is at 1803. We're in a little bit of consolidation right now. All right, leading into probably that new 15 minute and hourly changeover. Okay, so nice 15 minute support just on the body candle. All right, and then you can see the resistance. We're just going to tighten the gap within here, okay? So tall wick, indecisive, and then we're sandwiching in the 15 minute time frames right now. I'm gonna drop down to the five. Maris, I did see Bitcoin. Today's big news, guys. All major indices and pairs will move, okay? You can see what we have coming on here. Nice little trend here on gold, okay? This is on the five minute. All right, let's take a look one more time at the 15. Just wanna spot some key areas where buyers and sellers have happened. We might need to flip over to the hourly just to spot this a little better, okay? So on higher time frame, okay, on the hourly, you can see the four hour resistance is acting as a pretty, pretty heavy supply area right here, okay? So we'll mark that up near the four hour and we got some supplies on which still can be broken, no problem. Okay, you can see on the 15, kind of what we're doing here. Remember we talked about that daily support. We also have a key level, let me get this real quick, structure break, okay, at around 1797. Okay, and you can see that the price has pushed bullish currently at that time, all right. So let's go to the five minute and we can watch and see this overall price. Okay, so let's take a peek real quick. You can see we're heavy, heavy overbought on gold. So mark the 50 line on MFI. Guys, this is MFI, this is not RSI, Money Flow Index, okay? I do believe this is MFI. If not, I maybe switched it up and uh, went back to RSI. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. We're not gonna focus too much on that. All right, so you can see the nine is still holding true. Okay, the 200, let's take a peek where that is. On the five, you can see we're heavily above it. Okay, which means right now, we're only looking for buy opportunities. Okay, when we're above the 200 EMA, only looking for buys. When we're below, we're only looking for sells. Okay, looking for the pullbacks. All right. So let's watch and see if price can maybe get back to that four hour. If not, we'll wait for a short term pullback. Maybe price getting into 1798, maybe 1797 area, and then we maybe our news start to shoot back to that 1803. Okay, it'll be really interesting to see what's going to happen at 8:30. All right. Okay, guys. So we got here. Let me just check what we got going on. A lot of GU here. Okay, so we'll take a look. Let's see, NASDAQ had a big bottom push, okay, coming off of that 11,688, six, roughly 11,700. We broke through a nice three bar play. GU's very similar to gold, okay, and then I really want to see what's going on with this DXY. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, looking pretty choppy so far, guys. This is just. Interesting, leading into news, they tend to do this, okay? Find some nice support here. You can see the price is starting to walk on the five minute. Okay, and we will see what's going to happen coming in on that eight hour, sorry, that 8 a.m. switch over. Okay, so let's take a peek, maybe at GBP USD, guys. We'll focus on a parent and a commodity today. Okay, and you can see what's going on here. Ever since GU found that nice bottom support here, breaking that roughly, you know, 1.2100, okay, to 1,000, you can see it's had a nice big push for the continuations. All right, so let's see here. We get some daily support and resistance and start to do some GU, okay? Let's 
some daily support here. Okay, we are far away from that level. You can see we have some daily resistance just coming in. Okay, so we're going to trap here. Some daily resistance. So if this breaks, guys, GU, we can fill that wick, make a new high, maybe get to price to, you know, 21, sorry, 1.23 thousand, you know, maybe 3,700. If we get to, you know, 24,000, that'll be a, a really clean break of structure. And then price is going to continue to rise. Like that's, that would be a large move here. We're looking at breaking this gap and continuing, like they're talking about maybe an 80 to 100 pip move on GU if we make a new higher high on the daily. Okay, so let's take a peek here on the four hours, see how this is looking. All right, just going to make some quick updates. This imbalance right here was that four hour wick, sorry, that daily wick. You can see price pushed and pulled based on um, that current time, and you can see on the lower time frame how it looks. Okay, but other than that, we've just been in some consolidation here, waiting for price to make its overall next big move. Okay, so for me, guys, like I said, I might just make a quick update, put it on that wick. I do. The wick for me is the last place price has been. The candle body closes last place that the candle has closed. Okay, which means we have a wick down here. Price has been down here, but then buyers took it back up and then closed simultaneously. Okay, right beside each other, and then you can see price starting to uh, push back up. So price for me has already been there. It means they can push it back there again if we go bearish. But again, the body wicks and the body is. Are just a bias for me I do both it doesn't really matter to me you just got to watch and see for the head fakes based on if you're using wicks okay so four hour resistance here okay and then we're gonna take a peek at the four hour support okay so let's take a look at the hourly here Make that quick update okay and you can see that price guys we're, we're coming to a pretty critical zone okay uh you know 23,000 if we break above you can see 23,200 was a big rejection area but price is still holding strong on a bullish trend okay even on the hourly so if we make new highs very similar to gold we might push up near that 1808 gu might push up a little higher too getting to that 23,400 okay so some one hour support Okay, and my hourly resistance, I'm just going to go to the left here and grab that key resistance. Okay, and we'll take a peek now at the 15, guys. As long as, like, you have some key levels here, like, this is going to be off price, doesn't always 100% hit or come to this. Okay. But you want to make sure that you have everything, at least your key levels, see some support here, support, resistance at places where prices had significant price fluctuations and changes. Okay, so 15 minute support. You can see that we are holding here. Okay, push, bounced once, bounced twice, a little resistance coming at the four hour. Okay, and uh, we're going to see how that new 8 a.m. is going to flip potentially hold that uptrend or if we're going to see the resistance coming in on the five and start to push price back down okay all right so still a trend here guys if we break above we can get to a tp of 22,146 if we continue bullish okay we're a little bit probably over exhausted here a little bit of a pullback starting to happen okay you can see we've tapped over bought price is still rising though on the five minute let's take a look at our our side make it a little bit of a 50 line support here which is acting as the one hour okay sorry the 15 minute support is acting as the 15 minute 50 minute support level rate on the RSI okay All right, so let's watch and see here what we got. And we're going to see how price is going to move leading into that 8 a.m. time, okay? NASDAQ three bar play looking like a little bit of a flag here. The 
doubt. Nice big bullish flag pattern here. Didn't really do too much on this so far. But you can see this is all from yesterday. Big push. Okay, inverse head and shoulder. Okay, you can see there's a flag here. Hold on, my mouse is being sticky. One sec, guys. There you go. All right, then you can see the big push. Okay, so let's take a big one more time at oil too. Oil is just in some consolidation. I do like that oil wick. Okay, coming down here at maybe 71.30, but it looks too much of a range for me. All right. So we're going to leave oil alone for now. And we're going to focus on gold and GBP USD. All right, we'll take a look at NASDAQ on the new hourly. All right. Okay, so still here. Got about what time here? About just under five minutes till that new 8 a.m. guys. You can see Nasdaq is still pushing. All right, let's take a real quick peek. I want to see the Nasdaq on the hour. Look at this big bullish momentum, guys. This is really nice. See, we're starting to make that full retracement. <clears throat> I believe that we can get to at least, you know, maybe that 11,800 on Nasdaq today if price wants to have that nice continued push. It's a lot of volume here, looking very, very good. Okay, this is on the hourly, just remember that. And you can see we're gonna come to a pretty critical area where if we do break, guys, this thing is gonna have a lot of momentum here. Okay, I am still re recognizing this bullish candle. Okay, coming on November 30th, All right? And we're heavily approaching, this is supply, not demand, my bad a key selling area on the higher time frame on four hour on NASDAQ. Okay, so we'll look at this on the hourly switch. I just wanted to look at the more bird's eye view. Okay, and we'll head back to gold and GU. Okay, so look in GU coming to that resistance level again. Remember we talked about if we break above here, how price can get making a new high, okay? Okay, and you guys, just for everyone kind of tuning in here, Friday, you know, you can see this is what we have, core PPI. We'll go over this a little bit more, all right? And you can see GU starting to rise, very similar to gold, finding that volume coming in. Okay, and we'll take a peek here at that DXY next. Oh, there goes GU, just testing, okay. And then you can see what's happening on the DXY here. So everything, like... Since 625, guys, this is what you've been trading, okay, on the DXY. We've had good moves here overall in the market, but this is what you have been trading, okay? Big range on the dollar index, okay? GU is rejecting here. NASDAQ still continuing, okay? Let it do its thing. Goldie starting to continue. Nice little pullback here. Dow Jones still pushing, 15-minute. We are rising on the Dow, guys, okay? Everything is continuing to push. Okay. Um, just kind of burning time here until the 8 a.m. Okay, so 
Here we go guys, just under one minute. Let's watch and see how this manipulation candle comes in. And then we're going to be on the countdown for 30 minutes until that news. Alright. Did everyone have a good London session today? If you guys traded, you know, I know a lot of people I think probably took a seat back, waited for this news. Okay. A lot of people took some London off, guys. Some people they found it consolidated, okay, and then some people they found it nice little push. In terms of their account, it all depends on your uh, your preference of time when you're up and where you're at in the world. So, personally, guys, I didn't trade London all week either. I just saw the recaps and the reviews. Okay, and you can see Nasdaq, everything's pushing here. Okay, there's GU, nice rejection. Okay, and you can see what's going on here. Goldies are pushing. Okay, remember we talked about the short-term pullback. Here's 8 a.m. Okay, so let's see. New hourly swap here, four minutes. Okay, we want to watch, make sure that price gets to one of our conditions that we're looking for a trade, and then we will focus on either G, we're not going to focus on probably GBPUSD for news guys, we'll focus on Goldie or maybe NASDAQ, we will look at either or, okay. Okay, so nice rejection here. <clears throat> okay, NASDAQ is still floating. Look at GU. Okay, starting to test a little bit of resistance here. Okay, still not 100% convinced of the drop. The overall trend here. Okay, and you can see here we're just closing in about three minutes. All right, I want to take a quick look at the DXY here, still looking maybe like an inverse head and shoulder. Be really interesting. You can see there's a couple peaks here. Peak, we have one here, and then we have one more starting to form. Okay, that's the case. Price can start to maybe push back up to our 104. Maybe 775. Okay. If it starts to sink down and add as resistance here, okay, we can probably get price back down to 105. Sorry, 104, maybe 5. Okay, we'll mark that down a little bit. More of a whole number. So we'll add some alarms at the neckline. Okay, and we're going to focus and see how price on the dollar index is going to move. There's GU guys. Okay, so I mean about that. I'm not really convinced about these 100% sells just yet. So, guys, if we do break above here on GU, like I said, on the hourly, we have a high target. But take a look. We're going to go based off of, you know, maybe whole 23,300 here. We'll mark this. Okay. And then right before that, 229. And then I can see some price. I'm looking to the left over here, guys. Okay. 
229 and we'll watch and see that break on the 15 if that does happen here well, that would be maybe TP1 and then TP2 if G wants to continue in the bullish trend here okay so watch and see these two levels guys just prior to news okay we just even prior to this first five minute close but everything is still bullish guys of look at Goldie here too pushing Okay, 24 seconds, guys, just left here. <clears throat> if gold breaks the one hour resistance, guys, we're just going to create a new high. That's all it is. We're going to create a new high and push into supply. Okay, here's the five minute close. Let's see the new five minute open here. It's still looking pretty bullish. There it goes. Okay, so we did make a new high on gold, guys. Keep that in mind. We have a lot of momentum still to get filled. Okay, probably back up to remember I talked about 1808 if price does want to continue. All right, give me five minutes. I'm going to run a system here and we're going to see what our key levels are running at. <coughs> Let's take a look at NASDAQ as well. Okay, you can see a little bit of a rejection coming in. And same with the Dow. Okay, oils. Not doing too much either. Okay, there goes gold. Let's see if GU is tapping the highs too. Mm, little push rejection. Okay, so four hour resistance is acting pretty strong. Okay, so let's watch and see the bounce off this trend line on GU. Okay. If it breaks there, guys, we can probably come back down to one hour support just before the news. Okay, we'll take a quick peek at this news coming in here, okay? It's a bit of a chop right now. This, like, no point of getting in here is we're pretty much preparing for, you know, that, uh, that pop or drop so guys if you guys understand core ppi let's take a look here okay i want to look at the history okay in La november 15th all right you can see it was negative like pretty much zero okay october neutral september you can see positive 0.4 okay so uh core finished goods all right so guys this is big for you know a lot of manufacturing Okay, and inflation is obviously going to have a big impact on this. You can see in Canada, guys, they just rose the numbers, okay, recently. So uh, I know a lot of people are being affected by that. Uh, there is some news that you can see right over here, okay, PPI, consumer sentiment, eyes, USD, NIRS. Okay, <coughs> sorry, guys. <coughs> totally still getting over that gold. Um, but you can see Euro, very similar to maybe GBPUSD. Uh, just a little bit of, you know, no GU news in here. Let's take a peek. We have, and the rest was on December 3rd. So nothing real news driven related. Okay, for core PPI, let's take a look at PPI here. Probably the same thing. Okay, but I want to take a look at these numbers. Okay, so negative two, four. Okay, so there's been no real consistency. It's been jumping. Okay, it's been flipping back and forth. Okay. So why traders care about PPI leading indicator of consumer inflation, all right? When producers, so manufacturing, charge more for goods and services, the higher costs usually passed on the consumer. So this is going to be a big folder, guys. You guys hopefully understand. And if you don't, just take a browse through uh, Forex Factory Financial Juice is uh, really good as well. Okay, there's a few more. So um, as much as I want to 
get into this right now guys you can see that it's just slow moving all right and you can see Nasdaq had the short-term retracement here let's take a peek what I got going on maybe on one of key levels here let's find some volume Just want to see what we got going on here. Okay, nice support level. Let's watch and see what's happening right here on NASDAQ. That's the nice three bar plate. Okay, this is going to be a critical level acting as maybe some support for the time being coming into that news. And then we'll take a peek how it's going to go. If not, guys, this thing can tank. You can see where we're at here. Okay, so on the hourly, we broke true. All right, nice resistance here coming from the top wick. If you look to the left, guys, it's getting rejected. Let me just point this out to you real quick. So see over here. Okay, and then look at the rejection here. So when we talk about support acting as resistance, this is a pretty key example. Okay. And uh, like I said, we're probably pushing back down to 11.707 before that news time, okay? So let's just watch and see here. You can see Goldie's still making new highs, okay? Trying to test that 18.08 <coughs> level here, all right? So as much as you want to think getting into buys like me personally, okay, if I wasn't trading here, maybe take some buys but I'm not really looking to get caught even if this thing does pull back you can see we're heavily um, you know showing nice momentum trend in terms of bullish direction but anything can happen during that news time okay so I bet you G is doing the same NASDAQ is selling you broke and hold above okay pretty uh, low volume at this time all right very low volume to be honest with you and Nasdaq is coming back down to our key level here okay there goes gold Okay, so what time is it guys? 8.15, all right. Guys, does anyone have any plans for the weekend? Anybody watching any more of the, the, uh, the cup? Last night, guys, uh, I went and saw Burt Kreischer. I don't know if you know who that is. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry man, my voice is killing me today. Hey guys, not too sure if you know who Burt Kreischer is, but uh, you should take a look at him. He's this hilarious guy on Netflix and YouTube. He just talks about his family and uh, he roasts them live in a good manner. It's all fun enjoyment, but it's probably one of the funniest shows I've ever been to. So we got some France. Oh, yeah, guys, France is playing this weekend. I did see that as well. Uh, Sean, yeah, the naked man, that's him. He takes off his shirt, drinks beer on stage, and is probably one of the funniest shows I think I've ever saw. You should take a look. Look him up, Burt Kreischer. Okay, guys, so here we go. So I'm laughing so hard. Okay, guys, here's the breakdown on gold right before possible pump here. So let's see if we're going to get gold back down into that demand zone. Okay, it's looking pretty strong. Okay, 1801 is a big drop off. 
I do think we can probably get back down into at least 1797. Okay, so let's watch and see here. I'm just going to put this on to see how it's going to play out. Let's see if we're going to tap. And we're going to watch and see how price can maybe get back down here. Looking for a little bit of a long position. Getting back to that 1808. So let's watch. Kathy Bootcamp Day 3. Hopefully like the psychology part of the, uh, the first little bit. It's probably one of the most important parts. See, right now, I know there's people who probably would have had 20 buy or sell orders gone off in the past 20 minutes. But then they get caught in news, and that's the, that's the troublesome part. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's see. I'm watching on that 10-second close here. This is going to be that 815 candle, okay? So let's take a look at GU2 here, okay? NASDAQ, okay, we're just getting right to that critical level. Okay, you can see GU is still just holding strong, okay? Gold is still holding, and then the Dow is retracing as well. Okay, so we've broke down a key level here, guys. That's a three-bar play. Like, that's a big freaking sell so far right off the bat, right before that news, okay? Like I said, that's the pullback. When we talked about this hourly, okay, there we go. That's exactly the resistance there, and you can see the resistance wicks. Sorry, once wick is support, and these resistance wicks over here, okay? So price, like I said, we are in a downtrend overall, okay? But if this thing picks up volume and... I think we're going to get maybe down to at least 1690, 11,069, okay, before having any kind of a bigger move on NASDAQ. All right, guys, so. Just consolidation. Okay, I'm a little biased towards the cells, to be honest with you. There's a lot of resistance coming in here. I know this news is going to have high impact, but I am biased a little bit towards these cells, personally. Okay. As of right now, we'll take a look at what 825 brings, but just judging by the resistance coming in, all right, we will uh, monitor everything accordingly. goes Nasdaq nice three bar play resistance engulfing candlestick price is coming to a critical support level here which was once resistance so resistance guys broke through key structure now acting as some support okay GU resistance, Goldie holding, okay. Oh, guys, look at this, okay, there we go. Nothing broke down here, still very strong coming into that 1801 test level again. Okay, so guys, let's monitor these accordingly here, okay? So Dow, big resistance here, same with NASDAQ. I got gold coming in. Let's watch and see what I got, 1801.17. 
Okay, perfect. Gold is big push, guys. Okay, right at that 15 minute resistance. Oof, guys, big engulfing candles like this thing is raging right now. Oof. That for me is the gold seller, guys, 1801. Point one seven. All right, so let's watch and see here <coughs> how gold is pushing. This thing is here. We go, guys. There it goes. Big, big, big movements coming in. Okay, this thing is bullish. I told you guys we're gonna tap that maybe eighteen oh three, eighteen oh eight area. GU, let's see if we broke that structure. Look at Nasdaq here. Big move. And the pound is slowly following here. The pound is coming to a sh this thing is uh oof. Look what we got coming here on the pound. Okay, so this is the 10 minutes, guys. Take a look what we got going on here. Pound is a little shorter, sorry, a little slower, but perfect setup coming in here. We'll adjust that at 8.25. Look at NASDAQ still holding, okay, big break, holding support, okay. This is a neckline, so let's take a peek what we got going on here. Okay, so 11726.5. Okay, there goes gold, guys. Big freaking push. There goes GU. Okay, everything is pushing right before. We have that news. Look at this. There goes holding strong, guys. Okay, so let's look at this thing go, guys. We are flying right now on gold. Okay, big volume push. 1801 got broke. So if we break above that four-hour resistance, guys, this thing is going to fly, okay? I'm going to use this, okay, still for my times to come. All right? And you can see that we're still pushing into that resistance level right before. Okay, still pushing, guys, very strong. Right before that news, coming in at 8.25, okay? There goes NASDAQ. There goes GU, guys, okay? GU floating. And we talked about 23,000 here, still moving up, looking good. There goes the DXY, let's see if that's a drop. Yep, there we go, okay. So remember our target, we got 104.5, okay, if we break down here, news is gonna have the ability to push that thing down hard, okay. And it's just the continuations, guys, 
in the overall trend. Okay, and you can see where price circled here on the five minute. You can see a nice support level that's starting to hold. Okay. Guys, I, I don't know if anyone's in here or not or any trades, but if you guys are, just keep in mind news is coming. I haven't punched one thing yet. All right, still just holding tight. Okay, this thing is looking bullish too. Remember we talked about that 1808. Look at the four hour here. Okay, near that daily. 1807, 1808 area. Look at the volume here coming in. Okay, if they break this, guys, this is making a new high, probably coming to 812, 815. Personally, all signs are aligning towards the sell here, but like I said, this news is coming up. I want to see the candle close in about two seconds. Here we go. And then we'll watch and monitor NASDAQ. I'm going to give you guys some NASDAQ and Dow cells here, okay? Just keep these in mind. They're very similar to what you've been seeing me do, okay? But just mark these up on your charts and keep them for your own thing. Wait five minutes past news if you want. Watch and see what we got going on here. Okay, 11,706 would be a key NAS level sell. Okay, remember the trend is still bullish, but this is going to be a pullback if we're going to drop. But if we break above 11,726 here, we are rising hard to the supply, guys. Okay, which is 11,770. You can see we already have it set up for 11,800 for the bullish trend. Okay, <coughs> so let's watch. Three minutes left, guys. Okay, so here's here's the deal. Okay, if you guys do not feel comfortable trading this news, you do not have to. Okay, gold is in a pretty stagnant spot right now. You can see the push pull movements uh, probably are confusing a little bit of people here. You can see the four hour resistance acting strong. This is a key level, 1801. Okay, all right, is a key level for me on a sell. All right, so if it doesn't trigger, okay, it doesn't trigger. If we go bullish, guys, we are going to that 1807, 1808 area, which is the higher time frame, okay, area. You can see that if we get up there, that's generally the daily resistance, all right? So keep this in mind when you're trading, okay? So let's document everything at 2 minutes and 37 seconds here. I'm going to leave it on gold, guys. I put some NASDAQ stuff here if you guys want to check this out. Just watch the key level 11706. Okay, for NAS, it's still in a trend here, but again, this is if news breaks. Always, I tend to say wait five minutes, let the news kind of handle itself, and you can see how it's moving. Your Dow Jones, still a little bit of retracement too, but still overall trend is bullish. Okay, so we'll monitor this accordingly and see how it goes. Two minutes now, okay, like the shot clock. Okay, so 8.30, if you're not new here and you don't accept the risk, wait five minutes to pass, and then we're going to get past that volume here, okay? So everything is looking nice. That level is very key, 18.01, all right? And you can see that gold is still breaking above a lot of volume here. So this, you know, if we break bullish above that four hour, we're going to 18.07, 18.08, all right? It's looking pretty good. There's still a minute left here. 
Let's watch and see. If you guys are having a sell stop here, like I said, have your resistance at, in your stop loss maybe at 18.03, okay? It's up to you. The buys are still looking pretty opportunistic, but the key thing here, guys, is it all depends on you whether you want to be part of this news or not. 25 seconds here. Let's watch and see how this is actually going to move, okay? Okay, so that triggered right beforehand. Just watch the news here, guys. See how they brought it right back down to 1801? Let's watch. Here it goes. <laughs> Holy fuck, guys. Have your stop loss. Look at that thing. Go. Gold sell area, guys. There it goes, tapping demand. Okay, I'm running 800 bucks on that fucking trade. <laughs> 1801. And done. And if you guys want to see, I'll send that to the group. No issues there. <coughs> Okay, and uh, look at NASDAQ there, NAS sell level. <laughs> Guys, this is our, uh, you gotta love our system here, man. I'm telling you, on news, this thing fucking pays. <laughs> if you guys don't feel comfortable, that's okay. Again, just keep in mind here, this is the key. Let's see GU here. <laughs> oh, GU, guys, look at that perfect pattern. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. It came near 23,000. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, secure on gold. Guys, I'm going to send you something here if you guys think that some of these trades, trade ideas are crazy, crazy. I told you we do have systematic stuff that helps with this. I'll sell you the I'll send you everything we got going on here. I'll send you gold. I'll send you Dow and I'll send you NAS that was sent at 819 with these key levels here. Okay, I want to send these to the free FX group. So that honestly guys, I don't know if you need to trade much more after this. If you took it, if you took it, it's up to you. You know, I can't control that. They were set up there waiting for you to go. I'll show you NASDAQ too, just for you guys. So, yep. Guys, uh, did anyone take these trades? Like, it's pretty quiet. I think everyone's in shock, to be honest with you. Okay, so watch and see, this is still the first five minutes. <laughs> so let this play out, guys.
right there it goes. Uh, members, I did send you those two levels, the three. I can take a screenshot of it here. I'll take it also in the group for send you. Guys, listen, how many, I want to be real with you, how many guys were scared shitless to buy this or sell this? Okay, let's just see. That's that because we're tracing two guys. So watch and see here. Legs were shaking, guys. Okay, good. Well, okay, so let's watch and see now these possible retracements, guys. All right, buyers got out. Look at NASDAQ and gold here. Holy hell, look at these. I just passed my f your funded account, Corey. <laughs> oh, my man. That's huge. Okay, so watch. They're going to probably feel that wick coming back down, guys. So let's watch and see this. There it goes. Okay, so here we go, guys. You can see about three minutes left. Elaine, just, um, okay, because it's that volume time here, just screen record, like I said beforehand, and then watch what happens based on that. And then you got to send me, send it to the group, and I will handle this for you, okay? Goes the Dow here too. Three three. There we go. Okay, so these were set up from yesterday, guys. Possible selling area on Dow. You can see it dropped here. Drove the daily. Okay, all these key levels, guys, are from our system here. Okay, so three three eight hundred. All right, everything dumped off. Okay, Elaine, if you screen recorded, perfect. Just wait until after the stream, and we'll deal with that. Then take a look at Nasdaq, guys. Guys, if you want to see these trades that were sent to the group and you want to see the system that we promote and we use every day, okay, I would like to send this on the YouTube to our free effects group. Please follow along. All right. These trades were sent at 825 to the group in the Zoom and also on Discord as well. Okay. <laughs> so this is uh, kind of game changing and... Uh, <laughs> 500 pips roughly on NASDAQ and the Dow, okay? All right, so guys, let's just focus on everything else there. Okay, we want to see how GU dumped off here. Let's let's watch, guys. I'm still a little iffy on trading this type of news now. I still think they're going to fill the wicks and then have the big um, maybe retracement because that's holding at 11,500, Okay. All right. Me personally, I'm done, guys. I'm going to go take a quick piss, okay, and I will be right back. I, I'm sorry I got to say it on the stream. I was pretty nervous myself, and uh, I will be right back, guys. Okay, two seconds.
All right, guys. Okay, so take a look at this news we got going on now. The post news here, 840, 845. Look at how it's closing on the demand, all right? Guys, listen, if you're if you're done, uh, just chill out now, okay? Like, they could pick up a lot of liquidity in both ways here, all right? Just leave it now. Now, Friday's consolidation can come in here. Everything can... Uh, go into sideways trading, all right? Guys, did anyone have any problems for real? I gotta ask you guys a question. Did anyone have any problems with their brokers? Put it in the chat, guys, let me know. If you guys did, okay. Welcome to the manipulation on brokers, guys. Welcome to the manipulated times. There's not much that anyone can do about this, unfortunately. You know? If you guys did, I guarantee you they're getting flooded right now. Okay? Absolutely flooded with emails saying the slippage happened here. This was the cell, guys. Okay? I'm going to part it right in there to see how this is going to move. All right? Stop loss would have been right around there. Personally, I didn't even use the stop loss during that news. I was a little bit reckless in that sense, but I had a very good feeling that gold was going to sell, okay, personally. So let's watch and see, guys, if we're going to get back down and get back down to our daily here. Okay. I don't like the way it's trading right now. I think that it's in a crazy area not not crazy area i think it's in an area where you know it's you can see oversold based on the rsi but again the conditions are not aligning with what i want to do now so long wick here long wick at the top samsung no i just went in full market order let's watch and see the support level here Okay, and then NASDAQ, you can see that support is holding. Okay, look at that. So, let's watch and see here. going on NASDAQ, I think everything is going to have that consolidated move until 9 a.m. now. Look at you guys. Wow, look at this shit. Okay, look at this. Look at that big long wick, guys. Okay, that's about a 50, roughly maybe 50, 60 pip whip. Pip wick. Say that 10 times fast. All right, so if GU guys breaks, like I said, this has a, a nice, you know, yeah, exactly, Lisa. It's in the back end. Let's watch and see if maybe GU is going to get a little bit of a fall past here. Okay. <clears throat> Gold is still dropping, guys. I want to focus on something like GU here. Okay, I do like this wick, personally, okay? Like, I do like this wick, but they've picked up a lot of volume here. If we're going to enter in on this trade, remember, we want to have a, a stop loss where it's uh, applicable. Okay. Just watch and see this candle close. It's 8.45 coming in. This is the last 15-minute candle, all right, of the new hourly here. Okay, so guys, I'm going to maybe take one small, I want to see G. Okay, so G is closing, opening here. Okay, let's see how we're going to get on GBPUSD. Okay, I'm going to take a short on GUL, very small lot size. Okay, everything is starting to drop here. 
let's see how we get this retest. Okay. I want to see if we're going to get hold. Sorry, if I want to see if we're going to hold below here. All right. This is a key area right now in the four hour. Okay. So keep that in mind. I'm just watching this wick. Okay, nothing closed below just yet. Okay, so see nothing closed below, guys. All right, so still hold, wait, give it a, a little bit of time to show more confirmation here. This is just dancing around the support level to the left. Okay. Okay, so see how it's holding nice support? It's starting to rise. So nothing closed below, guys. This wick started to get me right here, all right? I didn't enter in that. I can send you the full screenshot of the trade. This wick closed above this previous wick right down here, okay? So that's when I was like, okay, we're going to wait and see if we're actually going to close below. And you can see price started to rise pretty, pretty hard. And I'm, saving, I'm seeing that gold is doing the same thing, okay? And the reason why it caught me is take a look at this DXY here, okay? That's the key thing that I saw right on the DX. All right, nice resistance close below and it's starting to fill, okay? So this thing could tank off, okay? <clears throat> Maybe get back down to 104.5, okay? Based on that liquidity grab, you can see here that the inverse head and shoulder pattern did play out a bit. It was a little bit distorted, okay? So guys, like I said, I'm not looking to really do too much here. GU looked a nice, like a nice trade, but that was the only thing that uh, I was really looking at continuing. But if it doesn't play out, we might get that break of the four hour resistance to push back up. Just not looking to uh, really get involved in this if we don't need to. Okay, so let's watch and see this maybe hourly close leading into market open. And there goes gold too, okay? So guys, sit on your hands and knees right now if you guys are <clears throat> trading, all right? You don't need to uh, continue. If you guys hit your goals here, you can see that price is now pushed right back into near that demand level. If we break that 1801, this is going to give us the volume to probably get to that 1808, all right? So if we get to that hourly here, let's look, all right? So... Remember the hourly, we're watching five minute candles. Okay, look at the hourly here. Look at this. Okay, so this is still in decision here. There's no real, in terms of trend continuation yet, it's still dancing just below that sell area. If we get volume, like I said, I still think this thing can get to the daily, personally. That news grabbed a lot of liquidity here in demand right at that daily and can push. Okay, so this, we're in a fun time right now. And this volume can continue in the bullish direction here. Pretty, pretty strong, guys. Okay, let's take a look at the US 32. Okay. And there goes gold making that almost full retracement. And there's GU2, guys. Look at this. Coming right back up. This is where the sell happened, okay? You guys, pretty straightforward. You guys understand that. I'm pretty sure you can see it yourself. All right, take a look. This is where the original sell happened in here. So let's mark that up as a key level zone. We know that that's news related. Okay, so if price does resist out of here, okay, we're going to watch for that probably 9 a.m. candle, personally, okay? Because if this does push back down, then I'll be looking to get into that sell. If not, we're going to break through and then probably look for tapping our buy areas for our TP at maybe one hour time frame. 23,100. Okay. But I'm waiting until that 9 a.m. time. Okay, so here we go. 
We'll get NASDAQ retracing. Let's watch right here, guys. Okay, if NASDAQ breaks, like I said, there's still a long wick that can get filled, but this is heavy overbought, guys. They might retrace. This has happened exactly on NFP. Okay, let's watch and see if we can break above here. All right. Maybe get back to that full retracement. All right, so let's watch. I'm going to set this up. Let's take a peek here. See how we're maybe going to get a move if it wants to break above. There's one or two scenarios. Obviously, if we break and make the retracement, it looks very sexy. Okay, but again, if it retraces back down, okay, and we don't get a confirmation close, then the short position could happen right around here, looking for that overall continuation to fill that wick. Okay. So, two things, two opportunities here. Let's watch and see. If I'm entering here, guys, I'm breaking my rules. Okay, but let's watch. The Dow is obviously retracing back similar to NASDAQ here. Look at gold, little rejection, guys. And you can see what's happening on the Dow. Okay. Okay, Goldie here. Look at this. This is what's going on with GU too. So NASDAQ, nothing closing above. Okay, this is GU selling out of supply here. So let's watch. Me personally, my short's going to be down here looking to fill that wick. Okay, we'll watch and see how GU goes. So NASDAQ, nothing closing above, guys. You see how that critical level here, this is how you can set up your charts to look at good trades, nothing close. You can use your stop loss right at the preceding previous structure here, okay? But if this thing does break down, I don't know if you remember, we took the sell here, we're looking to maybe fill that wick, okay? So don't just be buying right away. We haven't broke above any kind of structure yet on this. So let's just watch and see. Sean, was that today, bro? Hopefully he didn't leave. I mean, 2.1% if you're still here. Sean, I'm going to read that after. Okay, so that's huge, man. I just want to say congrats on that percent, man. Two trades, guys. 0 0.1 in the first one, okay, 11, 1100 in the second, 1.5%, 1 3, 3.3K, 3 total of 4.5K, 2.1%, journaled and everything, bro, congratulations, man, for real, I'll message you right after the stream, okay, dude, nice. Don't mess with us, guys, we got police, police, cops, sergeants here learning how to trade, too. You guys got our backs. What about gold next, guys? Okay, we'll watch and see on gold here. <laughs> Joel, you got 13%. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. You know, as much as though you guys got to understand, these percentages are great. I bet you there's people still sitting on the fence saying I maybe got 0% or I got negative percent. I know there is. They're too afraid to admit it. Maybe they took a, a sell and they didn't secure profit, or maybe they were just too scared to get in, which, guys, the truth is, if you guys didn't want to trade that news, there's no one said you had to, okay? There's no one said you had to. You have to be comfortable with what you're doing. If you're doing something that's uncomfortable, it's going to give you uncomfortable results, okay? And then take a look at the Dow here, closing below and around that area, 33,675. Okay, Goldie, 
little drop here, a little pop, too much indecision for me. Okay, let's see what's going on in the NASDAQ. <clears throat> okay, and let's throw in our moving average. Yusuf, um, when you, okay, so the thing is, like, a lot of people, they say stupid mistakes, but what are your mistakes? Guys, here's a good question for you, okay? We've got 800, sorry, 687 on here. Guys, honestly, if you guys pop these likes to 300, I w it's forever grateful on a Friday. You guys will end my week with a bang. Literally, I appreciate it, okay? Um, but let me know what your biggest mistakes are as a trader, guys. Honestly, that would be probably number one thing that people need help with, okay? I can't help, obviously, everyone here, okay? But Yusuf not getting in a trade, okay? That's just repetition, okay? Repetition, you know what I mean? You need to be able to have reps. It's like, you know, trying to learn how to swing a golf club, okay? Uh, too big a position, okay? People, guys, it's all about calculating your risk, okay? If you know that you're going in with news on the volatility is crazy, you know, you don't need to go standard, go 0 0.5, half. That way, you know, you can understand at least half your lot size could be either a win or a loss, okay? risk management revenge trading is big i do believe that's a lot of people but you guys gotta ask yourself do you guys have a trading plan i got the chat going does anyone here have a legit trading plan where they only take two three trades per day and they only risk a certain percent my man sean he takes two trades per day one and two and if he wins two he loses sorry he leaves if he win, he loses two he leaves okay Brandon, if you lose three, you stop. Perfect. I think I've put, been saying that for since I started SST. Having three trades is probably the best. I have a plan, but sticking to it is probably the hardest. Hmm. Trading Joe, you really did 20. Guys, can I, can I ask a question here? Does anyone know the definition of insanity? And I'm not saying we're insane here. We're, I think we're all a little bit insane to trade, to be honest with you. But do you guys know what the definition of insanity is? What is it? Yeah, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. So if we're losing multiple trades, you know, things happen in threes, double bottoms, double tops, triple bottoms, triple tops. Okay, so if you guys are losing trades at a rate where, you know, it's not fun, then, you know, you need to take a step back and realize if this is really your trading plan and that you want to be doing, okay? Like, is it going to work for you? That's that's the key thing here, right? Guys, two to three per trades per day is, honestly, it's phenomenal. One to two, like, I don't know what your guys' goals are. We had a conversation in the group, guys, where um, someone said they wanted to be financially free. And I said, yeah, I think we all do. Absolutely. That's a good goal. But I'm like, doctors and lawyers make three, four times, maybe 10 times some what some people make. And they're putting in 12, 15 hours in, uh, in their jobs. When a doctor goes into a room, he has a procedure. When a lawyer goes into a court case, he has a procedure, right? They're not going in there blindly saying, oh, guys, I'm just going to randomly cut this and hope for the best, you know, or I'm going to randomly plead guilty and not worry about what he does in his life, you know, so the the key thing here, guys, is like trying to develop some kind of plan will, that will help you eliminate a lot of these emotional mistakes, okay? Emotional mistakes are trades that generally come from emotion, reactions they say an impulse trade okay guys like can i tell you a story here this is for real okay this is someone who i know okay personally all right he was trading an mff account 
okay for real trading an MFF account he blew the account okay on a buy okay check this out he blew the account on a buy all right it was on I believe it was on GBP JPY within five minutes okay he bought a new account a 200k you guys know how much those cost all right and then sold GJ okay and what do you think happened to GJ when he sold it <laughs> what do you think happened to GJ when he sold it it went up okay so listen Mentally, now you have to deal with, it. he didn't blow a second account, okay? It was a heavy loss, but he recovered it. But the, in the span of having an account destroyed, okay, not taking the step backs to realize what happens, all right, he went and then bought another account and emotionally bought another trade, okay? Guys, we're 9 o'clock right now, just FYI, I'm just talking, all right, so just keep this in mind. He emotionally bought another account and then did the complete opposite, and then the trade continued in the trend. Okay, so he's now dealing with revenge trading, but also losing a lot more than just money. It's a, a lot of emotional shit to deal with. Okay, so guys, the key thing here is try to develop a plan. Okay, like I said, my suggestion is two to three trades per day, max. Do not over leverage. Go large. Go small. And then once you get in consistency with what your pattern is and what your trading style is, like right now, guys, I'm still not entered in this trade. I'm waiting for this confirmation here. If I see more of a lower bottom wick starting to push price up, okay, then it's going to start to drop. If price starts to reverse down, we're going to enter in our possible sell. We'll flip this over and go from there, okay? But right now, we're going to see how this is going to move coming into that 905. All right, so let's just watch and see here how it's going to go. And a lot of people, guys it's overthinking okay it's overthinking which has a lot of uh, a lot of impact on the emotional state okay so guys monitor this here I'm gonna erase this green chart just so you can see the level we're still in a downtrend here so we got two possible key zones on Nasdaq all right we have the opportunities where the buyers are happening Okay, and then you have an opportunity where the sellers are happening. Okay, me personally, guys, I have done both. I have over leveraged and traded 15, 20 times a day. Okay. And I know what it's like. And that's why one to two trades per day and then walk away. Okay, there's GU still holding, guys. Nothing breaking down below. Still looking strong. Okay, NASDAQ pushing back in the zone here. You can see gold is dropping. Okay. You can see that the Dow is dropping. Okay. Uh, Mo, just send me a message, dude. We'll take a look at it right after. I'm pretty much done after two to three trades, yes. I like doing one trade around 9, 8.30, 8.15 and around there, okay? And then my next trade is generally around 9.30 time, and that's about it. Okay, and you can see NASDAQ too. Guys, how many trades do you guys trade per day? That's the question. That's the real question. How many people trade multiple trades per day? Give me an example of how many trades you guys do. Five trades, 10 to 12, I have five to 10, 10 to 15, 20, 10 to 20. Yusuf, I like that, when profit is big, 2% max. When loss is more than 30, guys, that's, that's a lot. You guys know the brokers have the upper hand, right? So when you guys 
you know, the more more trades you guys do, the brokers generally know that. Okay. If you guys see in the group here, guys, like I'm seeing, I'm watching Yusuf, I'm watching Rob, I'm watching Ian, I'm watching a few other people. You guys see that these guys, are, you see them in our group. They're very, they're pretty successful and they're trading two to three trades per day, right? Okay. Ten scalps if I don't catch initial move. Morning one to two trades. Supremo, this is a good this is a nice one here. I don't put limits on trades. I take an opportunity trade when I see it. I like that one. That's good. The, the thing is is you have to have a trading plan when to do that. Alright? Do you guys understand that? Because the market presents us with endless opportunities. Okay? Like endless opportunities. Like we could buy and sell on every single candle, but it's finding the right setup that fits your needs. Okay. And then you can see gold, everything is starting to sell off, guys. Okay, slowly. Dow is holding. Guys, I just want you guys to see something though. What you guys are talking about here in terms of trades. People are saying they're they're struggling here. 30, 40, sometimes, you know, maybe 10, 15 trades. The people who are saying that, they're the ones that are, you know, just admitting to the whole group and to YouTube that it's doing too much. Okay, so as people, like doctors and lawyers, like I said, I'm not a doctor nor a lawyer, but I learned to not do crazy amounts of trades. Right, when a doctor goes into his his... Um, his his room, okay, he may be see 20 patients a day, but when he goes into the operating room, like, we got to look like we're operating on the market here, same with the lawyer. When they go into a court case, you know, not all these cases are, you know, 10, 20, 30 per day, right? They're only doing maybe two to three, okay? So, and again, guys, this is just me blabbering on, talking. Hopefully, you guys understand and value it, but you guys got to think, like, the higher ups, all right. They use their time wisely and they come up with a plan, all right. Okay, guys. So you can see here that the it's just slow moving right now. Okay, Nasdaq is looking pretty good. I do think we can probably get a little retracement here. Okay, um, that big wick can be used at tap eleven thousand five hundred. Whether we're going to get back down there today, we'll watch and see. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to focus on probably the Dow Jones for market open, okay? I personally uh, wanted to just watch NASDAQ and gold for this, but you can see that gold is right now into uh, some horrible movement. Am I staying for the next news? I am going to stay for the next news at 10 a.m., yes, okay? Josh, you know me too well. French onion, double cheese. I actually had last night at the works, guys. I had a Wagyu beef burger, okay, with some arugula on it. Nice smoked hickory bacon, okay. And uh, let me tell you something. That was the best burger I've had in a long time, okay. Look at this impulsive move on oil, guys. What's my favorite cuisine, man? Uh, that's tough. What's everyone? Okay, let me ask that question, guys. On YouTube, on YouTube, answer me, and on the street, and on you, and on Zoom, guys. What do you guys like to eat? Personally, I love Chinese food, sushi, pad thai. I could eat that till I die. I'm telling you right now. Ribeye. Okay, maybe maybe I'm thinking my <laughs> my answers are not good. <laughs> you know. Do you think gold will fill the wick? Uh, I'm not too sure, guys. Uh, 9.30 is going to be the time I'm looking to trade. You can see the movement that we're happening right here. Anything with jalapenos? Oh, I like it. Pad Thai for me too, guys. Absolutely. Good steak beer butcher. Oh, you guys. Guys, it's nice to see that there's so much diversity here, all right? I love it. I can eat pretty much anything, though, all right? So hopefully, you... I think a lot of people are the same, but definitely if uh, a steak or burger or sushi 
is is on my main thing. Pad Thai if uh, I need a huge refeed. Okay, so guys, you can see what we're doing here. We're just kind of ranging after the news. Nothing really happening here. You can see GU is still getting a little bit of motion in terms of around the 15 minute and hourly. So as much as I want to say, let's get in and do this. Yay, let's go. Okay. You know, like it's, this is not a good time to be trading. Okay. You can see we're closing below here on NASDAQ, starting to get down in the cell. Okay. And gold is slowly breaking down. Okay. And there's the Dow here going on. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a pullback here. Okay, dumped off. You can see if we break this, okay, we're most likely coming back down and testing that at least 33,600. Okay, and then if it breaks there, guys, we're coming back to 33,500. All right, so guys, I'm going to erase this, okay, personally, and we're going to do a top down on the Dow. Are you guys okay with that? Let's see. If you guys want to see the Dow Jones smash some likes for me, guys, let's see if we can get up to 300. What's my system on news? Uh, as kind of stated before, we do have an AI system that uh, spits out key levels during news time and throughout the day. I can't tell you basis what it's on, but as you can tell by the gold and NASDAQ trade that even was sent to the, the group, that uh, news time this thing can pay. All right, so make sure to check that out. So let's see what we got going on here. Everyone wants to see the Dow looking perfect. Okay, we got 264 likes. Let's see if we can smash 300 at least before the stream. Brandon, if I could show you the screenshots, yes, there really is. I have no issues of lying about that. I can show you anything you want to know. If you go look at the FreeFX group, there's two screenshots spitting out numbers right there. That is definitely not us sending this. Okay, so look at what we're at here. All right, this is the NAS. arrival here on the daily look at the Dow okay so take a peek we have four long bottom wicks okay so we got some daily support here James I want to do it but then people you have no idea they complain 274 likes, guys. All right. I'm not going to do anything else until we smash that 300. Okay, so we'll sit on here. Members, like I said, I can just give you more levels. No issues. Is it really better than Dave's key levels? Yeah, I would say so. The levels that I'm using are a lot very similar, so... Okay, gold is dumping off. I want to see GU here. Five likes to three hundo. Good to go. James, I need you as uh, with Rob Mack as the bodyguards. It's good to go. So I got some nice daily resistance here. If there's one person that I would not mess with, it's Rob Mack. Aussie prison guard. I think I think I've met my match. <laughs> like I said, guys, I'm six two. I'm two forty five, two fifty on a good day, and uh, my man Rob <laughs> makes me look like a pipsqueak. I'll tell you that. All right, uh, James, it is yes, and we're gonna have more updates based on that with our new. Uh, Discord API that we're introducing for you guys. Okay, so we got some one four hour support. Do we ever trade Asia session? I would love to do more of it. Yes, personally, I think it's a fantastic session for technicals. Okay, so there's the four hour resistance now, which we will look at four hour resistance. OK, 
Okay, so resistance pushed back down here. Okay, daily, we're going to look at some hourly now. Guys, uh, good question on some brokers here. Okay, so right now, this is currency comp, so we're trying to use as much as a broad, I guess you could say equal level liquidity provider as the rest of your brokers, but not all brokers are going to line up. And that's just not with us, okay? Like you guys go to any stream, like some people are streaming Blueberry, some people are streaming Dominion Markets, some people are streaming, who knows, um, you know, whatever it is. Not everything is going to align based on your broker, okay? So you just have to remember that just overall in general, okay? So one hour support. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the 15. Okay, so look at this consolidation we have here on the Dow. So I'm not looking forward to this market open. Personally. Okay, just going to gather one 15 minute support right down below. Okay, and we'll take a look at our 15 minute resistance. Go down to the five. Rob Mack, I put you on the spot, bro. <laughs> Rob, you got all the honeys in here. <clears throat> For news, do we guys get slippage? Yeah, we. The slippage happens in everything, guys. Absolutely. A team photo, Miss Pre. If you can make that happen, I am in like sin. No issues. Okay. So guys, right here, you can see straight up that it, this is push-pull movement. Even on NASDAQ, you know, we, it looked like it was selling off here. Look at look at gold, okay, and then look at what we're in on NAS as well. So you can see it's a push-pull movement. It's kind of a consolidation range right now. Um, so let's see if this is going to reverse. I'm still keeping my NASDAQ buy levels here, guys, just personally. Okay, this sell level, okay, that was prior to new. So just remember that, all right? We got about 13 minutes left. Okay, look at gold here, look at, I want to see GU, look at the Dow, and then take a peek what we got going on here, nothing breaking below here, still holding that roughly 22,600 level. Okay, so we'll just sit back here. Let's take a peek, guys, I don't even think I really even updated the news, I didn't really care. So let's see how this kind of dropped, okay. So all positive. Okay, on US, this is like 15, 20 minutes ago, more. You can see with the DXY here. I wanted to see coming into the new 920 candle, how we're going to move, okay? Okay, the market's just ranging right now. I'm pretty much done with gold, guys. Okay, like pretty much done with gold. Okay, until about 10 a.m., then we'll take a look at it. All right. Guys, you know what's the best? Do you guys ever, like, I, I get spammed on Telegram a lot, okay? And I think the best thing is, is because I have the group, I think I get spammed more than not, all right? Trading Joe, okay, I profit two trades, I will shut off MT4, just walk away. Do you know what's the best when people say it's their birthday every week and they try to get you to join their group? Oh, it's my birthday. Uh, I'm giving you free access to my paid channel with 50,000 followers on it. Does that ever happen to you guys? But the, it's every single week. I don't know how this guy has like a million birthdays. I can send you screenshots. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm 
numbers. I'll send it to the group so you guys can see here. Here we go, guys. I don't fault anyone. Oh, guys, there's a good YouTube, uh, sorry, good Netflix documentary about this guy from, uh, I think it was Fr uh, France or um, he was living in Israel. He scammed the big CEOs. Did you guys watch that? Did you guys watch that yet? It just came out. I watched it late last night. Couldn't sleep. So we got going on here. It's not the swindler. Uh, it's good, guys. Fuck, I forget this. I forget it. Where is it here? It's not Anna. I saw that one. Don't F with cats. I saw that one too. Fire. I saw that one. Dirty John. Bikram is the best. Guys, it just came out. I forget exactly what it is. This one's crazy though. You guys ever seen that one? Where he scams people to go into the colleges and stuff like that? Creates fake uh, profiles. Unbelievable. This guy scammed, uh, he was, he made a full mask pretending to be one of the presidents or not presidents, but I think, uh, head of security of one of the, un one of the nations. It's crazy story guys. Just watch and see it. Oh, Alicia, shall you tell us the best scammer? I can't wait to hear this. Let's see who it is. <laughs> you know who it is, Josh? Is it loose billion in a bank? It might be. Took 20, 122 mil from Facebook and Google. This guy's living large. Okay. FTX was the largest scam. Well, he, he's in lawsuit territory right now, guys. This guy's hiring the best lawyers to try to protect his ass. All right, so guys, take a look here. Got about five minutes left, okay? All right. Guys, you know what's crazy? This guy went to jail for like seven years only. Uh, let me find this name, guys. Okay, so we're still waiting on the Dow here. We're going to update in about one minute, guys. Ah, there it is. The mass scammer, guys. My man, Victor. You guys are the best. Bro, check this out, guys. I'm telling you right now, for everyone leaving the stream... Get out of here on a Friday. It's fine. Check this out. Plenty of other streamers will tell you when to buy and sell, guys. Go have fun. You'll be back. <laughs> Watch this, guys. <laughs> this one is crazy. He created a fake. He put this on his mask and was 
video calling like we're doing right now, the U- <laughs> the CEOs and like these big representatives, guys. It's so fuck this guy right here. This guy. I could not believe these people. He he was falling for it. These people, man, twenty million, like hundred and like millions and millions of euros, guys. This is a real documentary, man. This guy, he he fled the country. He was uh, he was they caught him, and then he went back to Israel because in Israel you can't get caught. Uh, part of their laws, it's like if it's just they're on their own. Oh my God, watch this guy's this thing. You'll you'll come on the stream on like Monday, and you'll be like, what the fuck. Look at this guy. He pulled the jackass thing. You know when they make the fake masks? That's exactly what he did. But he did th- he did this back in 96. Oh, my God. Scammed millions. And you should see his wives. Oh, my God. The one wife. It's, oh, he, he, you know, just a piece of work. All right. So watch it on the on the weekend, guys. All right. So, Okay. Let's let this first five-minute candle play out here, guys. We're going to watch the news. Uh, I'm more interested in to see what we're coming in at, at 10 a.m. 9.30 is kind of like the break. I know it's just been shooting the shit and dealing with, um, you know, the consolidation, but that is exactly what you get after big news movements. No one can really do anything about that, okay? Personally, like I said, we're starting to rise a little bit on the Dow, Okay. You can see, and we're starting to have a little bit of a downtrend as well, starting to form. So let's watch and see how this is going to break out. Do you guys know what type of pattern this is? Oh, David, he, you should see what he says. He basically says he is the best salesman and scammer of all time. Fully admitting it, saying there's done nothing wrong, that he's calling everyone else stupid for falling for his scams. Okay, so what do we got going on here, guys? Okay. So if we break down below... Like I said, we're going to fill that wick back down to the daily, all right? Jordan Belfort. I think if Jordan Belfort scammed me, I don't even think I'd be mad. I just asked him to hang out for a day. Okay, what we got going on here? Nice demand. Okay, get that fixed. We got some supply just above here. Okay, so let's watch and see how this is going to open up, guys. About a minute and fifty-six. Overall trend, guys, has been selling Nasdaq. You can see we're still in that trend. I'm still holding my opportunities for buys. Okay, nice buy on Nasdaq here. All right, that's at eleven thousand six hundred. So if we do break above, guys, like I said, it's looking pretty good. Um, I might set. Some opportunities up for NASDAQ as well. Same kind of structure here if you want to put a buy stop. And then with a stop loss at 11,562 with the bottom, you could do that. Okay. If not, you're looking for sells, probably filling the wick back down to 11,500. But we'll focus on the Dow here. Okay, so here we go. Let's watch and see that open. If we break above here that hourly, this thing is going to look good. Okay, perfect little double bottom here. Let's watch and see the retracement. If we break above here, this is looking pretty pretty healthy. Okay, let's watch. Let's see if we can get maybe back that full retracement. If it breaks down, still bullish flag here. Sorry, symmetrical triangle. Watch and see what it comes to this level. Okay, here we go. Rejection, okay. Nothing closing above. Let's 
let's see if we can get that break in that continuation on the four hour here, right up to that four hour resistance. Nothing is closing just yet, guys. Look at the volume. I told you this volume is pretty shitty at this time. Okay, if you want to wait until news at 10 a.m., probably the best. Okay, little resistance here coming in now. You can see right off the bat, we have to close above here. Okay. Let's watch. Okay, so gapped up, gapped down, indecision. Okay, my finger's on the trigger here. This is a bit of a dud for market open, guys. Okay, nothing closing above. Okay, you can see rejection here happening. Okay, so NASDAQ is dropping too. Nothing breaking above here, guys. Everything looking at probably filling that wick in the continuation. Okay, so let's leave this for now. This is acting as a sell area. Okay, first five minutes we're sitting. Okay, and we're going to see if we're going to probably make it back down to our hourly. Just give it some time here. There it goes. Let's see if we're going to drop off below here and fill into the demand. Okay, I want to check out NASDAQ here. Look at gold, no movement. There's NAS. Okay, rejection coming back down to fill in that wick. Looking like the Dow might do the same thing. GU, okay. So let's see if we can break down here, guys. I might wait until price gets back down. Okay, in one of these key levels here. I don't really want to be messing with this. You can see it looked promising for some buys for retracements. Okay, but we have the wick selling in from the supply area. So this thing is dropping back down. We can probably get back down to that daily of price, you know, wants to break these key structure supports at around 33.613. But we'll watch and see here how price is going to move. NASDAQ is moving because of the stock. Okay, the Dow is just having some indecisive moves. And I think that's why 10 a.m. is probably going to be a bit better. go so let's see if this thing's going to close guys let's just put this on here for now see if we can get that retracement okay see how it's going to move so that's what i'm looking for if price breaks above supply and closes okay looking to replace this overall fill wick okay kind of how it's similar sit let's see if we can get that push So still five minutes, guys. Give it some time here. Like I said, I'm just setting this up near the end to see if that new candle is going to open up and close above supply. Okay. It's still heavy resistance. Okay. But we're going to see if it's going to break through. Uh, please talk about gold. Guys, you can take a look at gold in your, in yourself here. Gold is not really doing too much. If you want to talk about this, <laughs> Darcy, is anyone talking to you? Not at this time, but you can see that gold is just having some support. Okay. So let's watch. <clears throat> if this rejects, guys, is going to be a double top and it's going to fall. <clears throat> okay, see supply zone here, nothing closing above. Let's see that key level here, resistance. And we're breaking down, okay? OK, 
Okay, so no clean buys above supply. Okay, you can see that first five minute candle had a little bit of impulsive push. Okay, and then you can see that we're getting a little bit of rejection coming from that resistance. Okay, so first five minute, nothing continued. We'll still hold it on there to see how price is going to move. All right, leading into that 10 a.m. time, this is 9.35. Okay, so if we do close above here though, guys, I will take a buy looking to retrace this thing back up to the initial uh, daily. Okay, here it goes, let's see. We need closure above here, guys. Okay, like heavy closure above. Patrick on oil, let's take a peek. Oil is just trading zone to zone. Okay, so the volume is still looking pretty strong in terms of the reverse, okay, but we're still in that, have not broke that previous wick, okay. Let's see here, if we break that resistance line on the 4-hour, guys, we'll take a buy. Okay, so this has been broken. Just one thing need you guys to keep in mind here, okay. If this thing turns out to be a bearish flag, we can't get greedy on this shit, okay? Flagpole, continuation here. Watch and see how it gets to that zone, okay? Me personally, I'm in a small US 30 buy, okay? We'll take that one hour support as my stop loss. Okay, so we are breaking nice. Watch and see, guys, if you miss this. Okay, let's see if we're going to tap that overall top trend. Okay, and there it goes. Andrew, take a look at the 200. I'm just reading your comment now. Okay, so see where the 200 is? Okay, that could be essentially like a TP. All right, I know we're below. It broke with a lot of volume. Okay, take a look at the 9 also. You can see we're just above it, Okay. So remember I talked about here's the resistance, guys. If you missed, okay, don't enter in based on that. We're looking for a possible retest of the 200. If this thing does not continue, guys, remember what I said? Watch that bearish potential flag. And we're going to see the volume stepping in probably at the new candle coming in around 940, okay? I'm in from 33704, guys. So my stop loss is at break even now. We will watch and see how price is going to move. And it's coming back down, okay? So a lot of resistance. Remember, we talked about this, okay? Key level for a potential bearish flag. Okay, so if this thing does not close above here, this is still that first impulsive candle. Okay, so watch and see here how it's going to move. All right, that's the case. Oh, sorry, guys. We can see a new candle potentially open up, starting to break down. Look at we have here. Nice support level. Okay, so let's watch. I said it looks like a bearish flag pattern, guys. It could not be. It could be. And you can see they're closing 
in that supply, nothing closing above just yet. All right, a lot of resistance here. Volume is still moving nice, but they're trapping it right in that area. So like I said, this would be the retest, guys, if you missed anything right here. All right, you can see now that you'd be waiting for the overall trade if you're going to enter it, but it looks like they're closing it in some supply zone area, which is the previous wick. And you can see the resistance that they're starting to fold it as. So if this thing breaks down, guys, like I said, watch the 9 a.m. EMA close. Okay. And we're going to see how this is going to move. If it breaks the 9 EMA, guys, don't hold this. Okay, we'll look for a sell probably getting back down on there. Okay. And there it goes, testing the bottom here. Let's watch. Okay, so my stop loss got hit out on that one. Okay. And I lost 63 bucks. Okay, so I lost 63. I'm exiting that trade. All right. We're going to see now how this is going to move possibly in that bearish flag pattern. If it goes up into bullish momentum again, guys, then I will look to enter in again. But for right now, I got stopped out on that trade. Let's take a look at gold and NASDAQ. Okay, oil is rejecting. Oh, there we go, wrong one. And then take a look at NAS. Nothing is continuing, guys. All right, still consolidated. And you can see the resistance is starting to close. Everything is continuing. There's the Dow. So it's looking like it's waiting for news, guys. All right, you can see here one trade attempt. That is like my second one for the day. Stopped out, lost 60 bucks. All right, still up overall, but we're gonna see how the next big move goes. If this trade does break above that four hour, yeah, I might look for another opportunity, but for right now, I'm probably just gonna wait and sit tight for that news. Okay, they're probably gonna make it range until then. And then we're gonna go from there. It had opportunity, guys, but no volume follow through. Okay, so let's just see how this plays out. I want to see GBP USD too, guys. That's one thing I wanted to monitor. There's Goldie, so GU is probably approaching that level. Okay, if GU breaks, guys, like I said, that same level here, 22600 area, I'm still going to be looking to take that sell, all right, if it comes down. If not, I'm going to ignore that and hold it above that 9. This is crazy, guys. Look at this coming in. This thing's going to go right back up to that probably top trend line here. Coming into 33775. Welcome to making a trading mistake, having your stop loss too tight. And you can see what's going on here. There it goes. Trade was right, looking good. Let's see if it's going to reverse.
Okay, so still holding tight here, guys. Look at that big reversal coming in. So if it tops that 200, there is that TP coming near that top of the trend line like I mentioned. You can see it's starting to rise here. If it breaks through that 200, guys, this thing's looking juicy till that daily. And I think we can even push up even higher. So watch and see. If we break through that 200, guys, that thing has a lot of opportunity for a continuation push. Okay, so nice rejection here. Okay, right at the 200. Tapping resistance, guys. Okay, so watch and see the pullback starting to happen. Okay, so we got rejected heavy. Nice big scalp move here, guys. If you guys got it, congrats. It still looked good. But see where we got rejected at? Right at the trend, okay, and right at that 200. Oops, sorry. Okay, so if we break that, guys, this thing is going to fly at least to maybe 33900. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so you can see here, nice rejection coming in, guys. All right, let's watch and see the news, how it's going to make a difference now coming in. we got about 10 minutes, guys, okay? I'm still a little bit, if it's not going to break above that 200, guys, still a little bit bearish now. Okay, we'll hold below, and here's your retest coming off that 200. Okay, so see rejection, guys, coming at the 200. Okay, so right back down to supply, okay? So watch and see here, we're not breaking above it. We're going to look for probably sells, guys, okay? Personally, I'm a little bit now biased towards the selling opportunity coming in. Let's watch and see here. News can flip absolutely everything coming in the next 10 minutes, okay? So that scalp would have been... Would have been nice if you guys caught it. Like I said, I got stopped out. But in terms of holding, watch that 9 EMA. See how it dropped down below the 9? Okay, reversed. Like I said, post news, you're not going to get much move here. Okay, but like I said, that could have been potentially a 77 pip move. Okay, so just if you guys see, like it's right then and there. If that held past, then you're looking at maybe a roughly around 100 pips. Okay, but again, it gets rejected at the 200. Nothing closed above. That's why I'm not saying this thing's going to go to 33,900. Okay. And you can see it's retesting now for the sell opportunity coming in. Okay. So let's watch and see how we're going to lose and lead into news. Okay.
Okay, and watch and see bouncing back on that trend. Here's the heavy resistance here. Okay, we got about freaking 10 minutes now. Okay, so here we go, guys, looking all bearish here. Nice resistance here, pushing back down, still holding along that trend. Okay, so we'll take that one as a little bit of a loss for me. All right, still would have been a W if you guys held past there. All right, I exited a little bit early. So personally, now I'm watching to see the news coming in, looking to break down, probably coming back down into that demand area at 33,500. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so still holding. Okay, so let's take a look at the NASDAQ here. What we got going on? So here we go. Let's see what's going on with NASDAQ. And Dow here, 33930. Okay, still the top here. So, guys, I still have the same levels. Nothing's going to change here. It's still on that bearish trend so far. Okay, everything's looking the same. We'll watch and see that retracement. Okay, so if we break that hourly support, guys, I'm going to smash these fucking cells to the point where this thing's going to be worth your while. Let's watch and see on the news. This one's for Dennis. Let's watch and see, guys. Okay. So, nice bull move here. Let's watch this hourly support. Here we come in, guys, about eight minutes. Coming in, we're set it up in about two minutes when the, sorry, about a minute and ten when this candle closes. Look at Goldie here, still trading impulsively, not having much flow through. Okay. NASDAQ rejection similar at the 200. That would have been your TP area. Okay. Andrew, I just said that I'll set it up in five minutes. Guys, just patience, patience, patience. I, I, I thought maybe uh, our Discord trades over 500 pips would be enough, but I don't think they are. Patience, guys. Patience. Want to see this 30-minute candle, sorry, 37-second candle close. Okay. And guys, I'm not even joking you. If you guys are scalpers and you guys understand trading, like you could have scalped that no problem if you didn't stop out right there. Okay. Personally, you could have. Personally, and I have proof that you could have. Okay. So for the people who got upset about that possible trade going into, you know, a little bit of rejection, I could have proof that that trade could have been profitable. So let's watch and see here, guys. Nice bearish flag pattern. Let's watch that hourly. <clears throat> uh, bear minute hits break even. Yeah, but I don't know if people know how to move stop loss to break even. That's that's the sad thing.
Okay, so here we go, guys, closing below the 9. Okay, so let's drop and see this will be an extended M pattern guys this thing drops here okay got about 33650 all right let's watch and see how this is going to move it's still holding here guys okay this thing is going to have a big move coming in all right if it doesn't close below that hourly like I said this thing is gonna pop all right personally you can still see the trend is still holding all right so we're gonna see how this is gonna move coming in at 10 we're going to stick on the Dow here, guys. Okay, so here we go. Two minutes and 39 seconds here okay let's take a peek at the daily take a look at here a little bit indecision as well guys overall trend is starting to hold here bouncing out of some demand and if you guys are not looking to trade anymore like i said sit back for the five minute Let's watch and see. If you guys are still in the buys, though, honestly, like you're still in the buys, you guys are not. It hasn't completely hit stop loss. If you were still holding, me personally, I got stop loss hit. Okay. So let's watch and see how now we have the news coming up in two minutes. All right. We got about 520 people on here, a few people in the Zoom. All right. So let's watch and see here how this is going to move. All right. Personally, by the rising trend here, there's a little bit of flagpole for sure. But again, on the higher time frame, we're in a demand area, okay? So let's watch and see. Okay, if we break below that hourly, in about a minute, we'll watch and see if we're going to get a price continuation, okay? Okay, so the price continuation, guys, is the short below here, okay? Right below that hourly, we're going to watch and see how this is going to move, okay? It's selling into demand, though. You guys got to understand that. Like, we've already tapped one demand zone, okay? So just keep in mind, if you're selling in there, you're going to get a long bottom wick, probably tapping and going near that daily. So just keep in mind here, 33637, it's a nice selling area right here. Me personally, guys... I'm going to wait for the last 30 seconds. Okay, they're not giving any sign of anything. I might even just sit tight through this news and watch the first five minute launch. Okay, they're not moving these candles at all. About seven seconds, guys. Okay, I'm gonna sit back for the first five minutes on this. They gapped it up right there. You can see, look at that gap. See what I mean? Not looking to get involved in that. Not too sure if you guys are seeing this. Okay, big sells here, guys. 
Let's see here, tapping that hourly. Let's watch. See the first five minutes, guys, is what I'm telling you. Just sit back, relax. You saw how that opened, man. If you guys want to be part of that, go ahead. I saw the candle close here. This is too much spinning top for me. Indecision. I'm not looking to get involved in that. If it does break below that hourly, though, I'm watching the first five minute close. Okay, gold is still holding its piece. Look at NASDAQ here, not doing too much. Okay, this is all manipulated now, guys. Look at GU here too, still. <laughs> Let it play out. Do you see, guys? I don't know if you guys saw it. Did you guys see the the open okay i'm not too sure if you did that thing gapped up and then it pushed pulled pushed pulled i hope you guys see maybe why i sat out on that the candle close here didn't have much volume it didn't tap one of our key levels here so um you know i hope hopefully you guys see why i did uh you can see that the market open had very little movement okay and even still this candle right here in terms of the volume it's it's nothing that you want to be a part of guys like you could have got maybe quick pips but this is just luck all right if i saw a price dip down here grabbing some volume yeah maybe i would have entered a, a trade but right now the way it closed in that in the in that area between the hourlies it's not something i want to get involved in sometimes you want to be part of news sometimes you don't okay and I didn't feel comfortable pressing a trade on this. So that's why I uh, said to you, I'm going to wait. All right. Let's take a peek on this news here. We'll see how it's dropped. Okay. So we have positive. Okay. So let's go take a peek at that DXY real quick. You can see what's going on here. Goldie's still holding tight. NASDAQ is getting some volume here. Then GU. And then you can see what's happening on the DXY. There goes NASDAQ, so that buy was looking good, if it did. And then you can see what the hell is going on with the Dow Jones, okay? Let's see this candle close in a minute. So multiple attempts, guys, here. This is just what I'm reading. You can see we have buyers sitting in here at this time. Okay, and it's starting to rise. If we break that 200, guys, that thing's looking pretty, pretty strong here, okay? Still a minute left. Okay, first news candle. Let's watch and see the close. See how they push it back up in that trend? Let's watch. Okay, so twenty seconds. I still have not pressed anything, guys. Hopefully, you guys are with me on this. Let this candle play out. Okay, so that closed like a <laughs> indecision at its finest. Okay, so this news is kind of a dud, personally. You can see there's literally no movement here. Okay, so that scalp, it was probably better than the freaking news, to be honest with you, even though it came back and <laughs> you lose. All right, if this thing holds here, though, this thing can make some highs. It's closing above the 9, which I like, okay? 
it's starting to test the highs here, it's starting to test the 200. Okay, let's see. This thing looks pretty. On the one minutes, guys, she's she's rising here. Okay. Okay, there it goes. And that 200 is going to actually probably take place here. Let's watch and see extend it. No movement, guys. You can see this news is absolutely horrible here. So I'm going to stay till about maybe 10, 10, 15. Okay. So when you guys see this, like I said, chill the F out. Okay. Everyone wants these news candles to be like PPI and CPI and NFP. Sometimes they don't happen like that. Okay. The best move, honestly, was probably the buys down here, but we were fumbling around, messing around with everything else. This is actually not a bad trade. If you guys understand how to how to scalp, okay. Now it's like, what are we gonna do next? That's the main thing that I am stuck in the dilemma with right now to decide. You can see the shitty price action that we're coming in. All right, let's take a look at something else for a second. I don't really. Oh, there goes gold, guys. Okay, gold is selling off. Let's maybe take a look. Look at Nasdaq. Okay, Nasdaq was actually a beautiful buy. And let's take a look at GU here. Okay, so GU is looking nice, guys. Let's watch and see GU. Let's see if we can get a close below on GBP, guys. Okay, there's a lot of rejection here. Okay, this thing is going to be... Watch and see the close, okay? You can see we have long wicks here. This is going to be tight right along that 200 EMA. Okay, so let's monitor this accordingly. So we're going to add... that five minutes in coming in the initial break okay okay so DXY is pushing guys all right GU is gonna sell here this has been sitting here for a while Okay, let's just see how the indices are moving. Look at NASDAQ rejection, okay? Goldie rejection, everything now is starting to show the truth, okay? We can see that if we break down here, the Dow is just dead for right now, okay? PK session is probably gonna be better on the Dow. We can watch and see what's going on with GBP and gold, okay? Okay, so gold holding here. Watch GU. I have not pulled up anything yet. You can see NASDAQ is still holding. GU is still holding around that 200, guys. Okay, so see why I drew that 22476. Okay, that's the support level that had previous level. So nothing closed below here, guys. Just another wick. Okay, let's see on that 38 second close. I have not pulled in anything. I will tell you if I'm taking the sell on GU or not. Okay, if not, this thing's going to hold support, and we're going to start to fill those wicks. Exactly what's happened in previous structure. Okay, here we go. Here's the new candle. Here's the retest, the break of the 200. Let's see how it's going to react based on this. Okay, this is the first time we've actually started to close below here without getting a wick. All right, so let's watch and see. Monitor this accordingly. They're pushing price right back up. Okay, and nothing is getting in that area yet. Still pushing.
Okay, so monitor this, guys. We'll set some alarms. Now you're getting into some slower movement, guys, probably on GU. Just watch it. You can see NASDAQ here. And then there's the Dow. Okay, so let's maybe focus on NASDAQ here, a little bit cleaner price. A lot of rejection coming in, okay? So you can see resistance level holding at the 200. Remember we talked about floating support and resistance here, guys? Okay, it's actually having true. So this is, not much can be done, guys. This is just horrible price action coming off news. I definitely thought this would be a little bit better, okay? But nothing came to fruition. So we'll stay for about four more minutes and see how this is going to move. I do still think that we got some big movement on the indices, okay? Personally, I, I really do, all right? And uh, I'm just going to wait until probably maybe 10.30 for that to actually happen. You can see gold is testing now too, that 200, okay? And uh, it's looking to maybe fill that bottom wick, all right? Watch GU2 and watch that retest. Guys, you can say Dow buys, Dow sell uh, for sure. Anything you want. You guys see what you got to do, right? It's all based on your analysis and what's actually presenting itself. The only real trades that I did was the gold sell here made a good amount. It was 945 bucks, And then the only other trade was that US 30 sell for a $63 loss, okay? I'm looking to make that up. And we're going to see how that's going to go, okay? If GU closes below here, guys, I will take a sell. All right, looking to maybe get price back down to that general area of 22300 for the continuation breakdown, making that new low. Okay, so let's watch and see here, and let's monitor all these indices. Okay, rejection here, and then you can see gold is breaking down. Gold is leading the way over GU right now. Look at the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones getting some serious resistance level here. Okay. So we can erase this. We do know that the buyers are sitting there. Okay, we're going to use that for this zone just in case price does want to continue and make the new low. Okay, so here we go. Let's see here coming near that hourly, guys. <clears throat> okay, GU did not close below, guys. It's still holding, okay? It's still holding that 200 EMA. Okay, so the Dow is looking pretty healthy right now. Okay, we got about two minutes until that first 15 minute candle close at 10. <laughs> Guys, what's everyone wanting to look at right now? Okay, I, I'm gonna stay maybe a little bit longer than normal today. Okay, I wanna see if we can get another bigger move personally okay i'm not looking to revenge trade at all but i want to see if one of these moves line up with breaking of nice structure you know and going from there the doubt looks pretty sexy for a sell here guys i'm not going to lie to you the gold was beautiful nasdaq is now testing that area again look at gu guys still trying to close below here okay I want to see this Dow movement coming in. It looks like a bear flag. It absolutely does here based on the structure. But if you look at the 15 minute, you can see what they're moving. Okay. See how it bounced into demand. That's the only thing that has me concerned. Okay. But you can still see the cells still getting rejected on the five and holding that trend. <laughs> okay, GU really did not close below, guys. That's why I said watch, nothing closed. Okay, and Goldie is closing below that 200. And same with NASDAQ, look at this.
trading, Joe. I thought you were done, bro. You got to get out of here, man. Unless you want to stay 100%. I still like G. Rob, I'm with you, man. I still like G on the cells, dude. I still do. It's going to sell down there. I think it's going to pick up some volume, okay? And I think it's going to respect that trend line in terms of the 200 and the 9. And I think they're going to have an indecision area right around that converging moving averages. I think it's going to have a big issue with that, okay? Where's the Dow at? Okay, so if we break down here, guys, that hourly. Okay, let's see if we're going to make a new low. Okay. Let's test the waters here. Add something below there. Okay, let's see if we're going to get back down. And maybe follow the overall trend. Okay, that's what I'm looking at moving forward. Okay. Like... We'll see how it's going to move, all right? Personally, I'm not looking at anything until I get to that area. I'm not selling right now. I'm not buying right now. I'm not doing anything. Okay, because remember, how many times have we been wicked up since that general area right there? We need to watch price as soon as it gets to that hourly. And this is just a continuation in the trend if it continues to sell, okay? Let's see NASDAQ. Still holding, guys. Okay, watch GU here, guys. Okay, so here we go. You can see nice close below on that hourly. Okay, picking up some volume now. You're going to see it. This is just consolidated, guys. I'm going to stay till about 10.25 and then dip. All right, honestly, this news has just created consolidation. All right, as much as I want to be a part of all this, you know, you got to learn to walk away. Okay, and I'm okay with taking that L. Everyone has them happen. Trust me, I take them more often than not, too. And uh, we just got to be careful and patient and remember those key levels here. So if that's 33637, 33650 for the sell, then I'm going to remember that later on in the day. Okay. So I think you're going to start to see some more movement at 1030, maybe 11 o'clock. All right. Again, this is the type of news that can create consolidation, those big gaps. All right. And, uh, you know, we're going to watch and see how price is actually going to move leading into probably the lower half of the day, 2.30, 3 o'clock, and then you have the market close coming in for the weekend, okay? And then there's gold here. Let's see GU2, okay? And you can see what's going on. Nothing broke down just yet. I'm going to stay for another five minutes, guys, and then I'm out, Okay. And guys, we uh, just let you know the streams will be cut down a little bit next week as we slowly get back into Christmas, all right? Um, we'll be launching some videos, just trade recaps and stuff like that, but you guys need to take an understanding that the markets, although news can be nice and move them around this time, they do start to fade out. And you're going to get some consolidated moves that will trap you and bait you. You do not need to be trading this type of stuff, all right? Personally, if you want to know the truth, I would not even be trading until this time. I would have been done by now, at least by last week. But again, got to keep rolling with SST. Okay. Uh, are we here on Monday? I will be here on Monday, yes. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, you will be good. Wednesday, I am out. Okay. Okay, guys, here's that 1020 candle. Okay, you can still see they're holding volume here. Okay, it's still very good. All right, nothing's closed. Started to get into our sell area just yet. All right. As soon as it comes down, we're going to watch and see 
how price is going to react at this key level. I think that's the best common idea. We're still learning even if the session is not too good. So thanks, man. Uh, this was the good session, and then this is what people get head faked out in. Okay, Like I said, scalping, we're not always looking for the runners to go 100 pips, 20, 30 pips is more than enough. So you guys got to learn how to trade in these markets too, right? If we got in those impulse buys and sells on news, you guys would be fucked right now. Straight up. Pardon my French, but you would be. Okay? This news candle would have slaughtered a lot of people. It gapped up, gapped down. They would have been in and out. They would have tried to get in. So that's the key thing. When you have back-to-back -back folders, guys, it's really important to just understand when to watch and when to walk. All right? Personally, I know that news folder would have destroyed accounts. People would have over leveraged thinking they're ho excited about continuing, and then it would have put them in their place real fast. Okay, look at NASDAQ here too, still really shitty. And then GU did not hold, guys. Okay, so still bouncing off, kind of like what we're saying here, holding that 200 EMA. Okay, still bouncing, looking to probably fill these wicks, maybe tapping into that supply again. Okay. So this is heavy, heavy ranged movement, guys. Okay, GU is still continuing from the overall trend uh, coming from this support level on the 15. Okay, you can see what this consolidation looks like on the 15. All right. Yeah, and there's not much you can do about it. So NASDAQ and the Dow are still holding here, guys. And everything else is still in that zone. Gold was actually probably the only best move of the day, continuing from that rejection general area right here, starting to fill that wick. Okay, guys. Well, take a peek here. You guys can still see that this is not working. Okay, we're going to watch. We have another session after this. Okay, so make sure you guys understand the consolidation. Remember the key zones here, guys. The break of this hourly resistance is going to lead price to probably pushing back up at least to 33775, right near that 200. Okay, if it's going to close below that hourly, okay, 33637, this thing's going to sell off all the way down to the daily support. I'll update this calendar. I'll update this chart regardless in the free FX group, guys. So just sit back and watch. If you're not part of that group, please, okay, please join it and uh, we will start to lead the updates on the charts throughout the day even including next week okay so guys that being said uh, we went over some cool things here on netflix and stuff blah 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 if you want to be part of the team guys like i said i don't really want to do this but it's just showing you guys what we do okay uh, we do have 25 percent off you can check with the 3612k month plans uh that was selling off here coming a little bit closer so i'll take that a look in a second okay you can see that if you guys want to see the schedule we have five londons five new yorks four post new yorks three post trading sessions here this will pick up near in the new year guys we'll probably do around four to five and then with some trade recaps different things like that okay uh today guys we were i think seven trades sent we were five for seven two of the stop losses got hit based on that news if we held so that's not a bad percentage based on our trades okay so check it out guys um, we will be going live in our maybe private zoom during the new uh, during the uh, break just to talk about more trading psychology leading into some plans for the new year okay and uh, make sure to check it out if you guys are just having any questions about that www.stocksnipertrading.com members stick around here i want to have a quick little chat with you okay and i want to go from there but watch for that cell coming back down 33637 okay just watch this key level here okay so guys god bless hope you have a good day and uh, happy friday guys fridays don't usually happen like this but i'm glad it was a good end to the week and we'll move on okay all right guys peace out later members stick around for two seconds as a trader we all look for tight or low spreads which helps us to get in and out of the market using the right broker can help us try different strategies with multiple options of brokers on the web here at stock sniper trading we have a recommended broker that is hanko trade with spreads as low as zero pips and leverage up to 500x hanko trade is just one click away with multiple account types to choose from 
you also have a minimum deposit of $10. Using Hanko Trades affiliate program, refer a friend and earn up to a 40% commission on trading volume. Built by traders, for traders. Hanko Trade.